On to race number 10, it's the New Zealand Messenger, and we're highlighting the Taylor Mile from last week. Terra to Love, the eventual winner. Gold Ace uh, highlighted here. He finishes into third position. Better Cover Lover finishes second. She's not in the Messenger uh, this week, but this was Terra to Love taking out the Taylor Mile over the 1700 last Friday. Better Cover Lover awaits the passing lane, then easy on the ice. State of Affairs. Further back is Jack Alembra as they swing in for Mustang Mac and Excuse Maker at the 150. Terra to Love, the one to catch. Better Cover Lover is winding up, still a length away. And behind them, Gold Ace, in State of Affairs. Terra to Love, though, and Anthony Butt are going to lead virtually all the way in the Noel Taylor Mile. Terra to Love back in winning form. Second, Better Cover Lover. Third at the line was Gold Ace on the outside of State of Affairs. Then came... Well, there was Terra to Love last week, and uh, it's almost hard to remember at times, Craig, how long he's been up and how many big races he's competed in very, very well this season. Well, that's right. He has been up for quite some time, Jess, but he had a bit of a break uh, through the January-February period, and uh, uh, he's come back very well, of course. Uh, nice run in the Easter Cup. Very good in winning last week, Jess. Lovely draw. Got to the front, dictated the speed. Very nice drive by Anthony Budd, uh, and he was just too good. He's got the right draw again this week to get off the gate, and either lead will stay very handy to the speed. Uh, I'm not predicting a horse like Zanola Seelster would want to lock him the whole way. I think he's a very good sit and sprint type Zanola Seelster, so he'd be quite happy to take a trail. So I'm trying to find where the gate speed will come from. It'll probably come from a horse like Easy on the Eye from barrier number five. So I think Anthony Butt has a lot of options. Uh, he can either lead them up, which I probably think he will do, or take a trail behind the right one. Either way, he's got to start favoured on Friday night and got to be a very good winning chance. Yeah, and drawn very, very well as well. Number two, Terra to Love. We're going to highlight uh, number seven, Hans Christian, back from a sojourn in Australia. We're taking you back two starts ago. You saw him uh, in the uh, chariots breaking over the weekend. But this is Hans Christian in the trail, managing to beat Sushi Sushi two starts ago. But as they work towards the quarter marker, Sushi Sushi goes through that split in 28 seconds, leads a half on Dream Out Loud. Hans Christian waits on and out, and then came further back to the Phantom. He goes back to the inside. Purden with the hands Christian but Sushi Sushi leads it a length now he's lengthening stride and coming home strongly on the inside hands Christian out after the Sush it's on the inside hands Christian taking the lead from Sushi Sushi hands Christian gets a half in front and hands Christian beats Sushi Sushi third home in the race I reckon the Phantom fourth Caribbean blaster and I think Dream there was two starts ago for hands Christian he did break uh, the 200 meter marker over the weekend Craig back to Alexandra Park stepping up in distance again like Terra to Love he loves the track and the two seats even. Well, the distance is not a problem, Jess. He's coming out of a 3,200 metre win in the Easter Cup, uh, three starts ago. Of course, defeating uh, Terra to Love and Gold Ace, race rivals on Friday night. Uh, you go back to that win in the Pale Face Adios, rating 152. He's in great form at the moment. He had no luck last week in the uh, in the Chariots of Fire when he galloped at the 200 metre mark, and he was travelling well at the time. Now, uh, barrier number seven is probably not ideal, but uh, I think Mark will probably drop back and look to get a card into the race. Uh, he's racing in great form, and he's got to be a very uh, serious contender in uh, probably a logical second favourite for the uh, for the messenger on Friday night. As we look at the market now, was well, Anola sales to eight dollars. Has options to possibly lead, pick up a trail behind Terra to Love. He's got to be a cracking each way chance, Jess. Terra to Love. Do I think he can win the messenger? Certainly. Would I take the dollar ninety? No, I wouldn't. Uh, he hadn't won a race for five months leading into last week. He's in very good form. He's got the right draw. But Jess, there's a couple of newcomers to the uh, to the race with the likes of, uh, of course, Hans Christian and uh, Zanola Seals that didn't line up in the Taylor Mile last week. So I think you'll get a dollar ninety on the night, or possibly better. Where's the value in the race? Well, Hans Christian at three fifty. Again, he's probably at the right price. Again, you might get better on the night. Uh, Gold Ace at four sixty. Won the second row. Uh, Got to get a lovely run through. I don't know if three deep on the fence is probably the place to be. I think Peter Ferguson will want to get off at some stage, but uh, he's got to be a very good each way chance and easy on the eye. Gate speed sixteen dollars. He may be a little bit of value, but dollar uh, ninety very short. Jess on the back of an old Taylor Mile win last week. I think he's the one to beat. And if you had to say, ask me now, um, who do I think will win the Messenger? I'd say Terra to Love, but I don't know if I'd take the dollar ninety.